friends. <gasps> oh no, when we left off yesterday reading, look, Ralph was in a sticky situation. Let's review just a minute what happened. So, he was in the knot hole and they were like, we're gonna have to lay low for a while. We need to like be really quiet so housekeeping doesn't know we're here. Remember his family were all in pandemonium. They were all like, ah! mom is petrified. But did Ralph lay low? No, he didn't because his friend Keith had a terrible fever. He woke up sick and there's no medicine in the whole hotel. The family checked. There's not any. They told the milkman to bring some in the morning, but it's going to be really late by the time he gets there. And Ralph is like, I've got to help. I've got to help my friend Keith. Look, I lost his motorcycle. Ooh. So I've got to help him. I've got to find a pill. And so he went scurrying around the hotel rooms, huh? And then all of a sudden, boom! Something landed on top of him. What was it? It was a glass, a clear glass. Ralph was inside a glass. And it was two teachers. I always like that part of the story. And the teachers were like, let's take him to our classroom. One is a kindergarten teacher. And she's like, I'd set him on the counter. Kids could bring him food from home. Wouldn't that be so cute? And Ralph is like, I've always wanted to travel, but... I'm not sure about this. And then the teachers go, oh, wait, never mind. We're going to San Francisco. It's way up there. And then we're going all the way down to Disneyland. How can we take a little mouse with us to Disneyland? It just won't work. So then they're like, what do I do with him? If I set him loose in the hotel, someone might kill him. The housekeepers won't like that. <gasps> I know what I should do. I should throw him out the window. So she very gently kind of tossed him, flung him out the window, thinking that she's doing him a favor, and Ralph winds up on this vine. And that's where we left off. Now, Ralph looks petrified. He looks so scared, doesn't he? Because he remembers all these stories about how, remember he had a family member who got swept away by an owl and eaten by an owl. We know that because whenever they went into the owl pellets or the the rotten poop <laughs> of the owl, they found the bones of the mice there. And owls do eat mice. That's kind of why they're nice to have around. But Ralph is like, what am I going to do now? I'm stuck outside. I'm just hanging here for dear life. I've got to help Keith. So tomorrow we'll read chapter 12 and find out what happens. But today, click on the link and answer the questions for me, okay friends? Have a great day.